Hey guys, and welcome to a new Ren and Wilson Studio vlog. This vlog is my summer vlog of what I've been up to for the last couple of months. So mostly I have been working on my unofficial Sir David Attenborough colouring book and it has been quite a delightful time of um, drawing and getting to just make what I want to make and uh, see this thing start from nothing, just a twinkle of an idea into a whole entire book. It's quite exciting and I'm excited to show you my progress throughout this vlog. It has been a fun journey of exploration and learning about animals and habitats and discovering new things like have you heard of the Brazilian pantanals? I had not. Um, I feel like I've seen it with my eyes I just didn't know that what that is what it was called but that's what I discovered this summer. I've also been adding some wholesome activities to my working life um, especially during the summer to try and make the most of the sun outside and I have been kind of going to my studio but not so much because it is hot. Um, yeah so that is all coming up in today's vlog. Thank you so much for joining me. Do you like my plants? This bad boy I got from the garden center in the bargain section because it was dying and it was really small and um, it's doing so well and it's come back to life and it's massive. Yay. Yeah, so uh, shall we get to work then and go into this vlog and see what I've been up to? Uh, yes, okay, let's go. Ooh, 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 ooh.
Hey guys, um, so I've been feeling a little bit trapped working from home just because the studio is so ridiculously hot that I cannot bear to be in there for any more minutes than I need to be. So I've just been going into the studio to pack orders and then leaving as quickly as possible before I die from heat which has meant that I've been working a lot from home and mostly on the couch which isn't very good and um, doesn't make my brain feel very nice but uh, it needs to be done because I'm trying to finish my colouring book. So I want to make a plan to make my business working time more wholesome because it's summer. Um, it's sunny today but it's not that warm um, but I feel like I'm missing out on the sunshine. So I have got my sketchbook and I'm gonna go have breakfast outside and come up with a plan for the week of how I can mix drawing my colouring book with being wholesome and being outside. It is midway through August now and I have given myself a deadline of the end of August to finish my colouring book and I do feel like I'm almost there but uh, there's still a lot of work to do and I need to hunker down and get it done so I'm going to write a to-do list so I can make sure that I will get finished in time and at the same time be wholesome and live my summer life outside and not being stuck inside all the time so uh, let's go outside write a to-do list and get this week started yeah yeah yeah
I've come to look at the spare studio space that's just come available at the end of the row where my studio is. Um, basically, I'm thinking of maybe, that is quite small, it's quite small. Oh, I was saying, um, I'm thinking of maybe moving into a smaller space because my rent is going up for my current studio this month and also we're thinking of moving house soon um, so I wanted to save a bit of money but I think this is a bit too small I mean I could put my shelves along the wall and the desk in the window because it probably would fit However, my current studio is just so beautiful and so big, I don't think I could move. I would miss it too much. This space would make a pretty cool space for a painter though, if you don't have much stock to store. It would be pretty nice. But hello, sunny, beautiful studio space. I don't want to say goodbye.
you guys, I'm back in the studio today because I want to print out all of the colouring pages that I've made so far. Um, just so I can see if I've missed anything, if I need to add anything, if I need to change anything. Um, I think sometimes when the work is on the iPad you can't, uh, you can't see it properly when it's not compared with all the other pages. So cutting them out and printing them out and putting them all down on the floor I think is going to be super helpful for me to see uh, what the book looks like so far and what I need to do. out that printing these out was very useful because I have noticed quite a few things that I need to change and some things that I'd like to add. For example on this Swiss Alps picture I haven't put the location name so I need to add that to the top and I also need to add the fact that this animal is an alpine marmot. I also think this grassy bit would look better with some meadow flowers on it. And I think maybe this rhino one would look nice with some flowers on there as well. Some extra colouring goodness. Um, that Australian one you can see there, I don't like the picture of David there, so I'm going to change him. Maybe give him some better eyes. And this Antarctica one is missing the location name as well. Need to add that in. Might turn that little penguin around as well because it was facing the same way as the other one. The Alaska one also needs a location tab. There are a few more pages that I want to add. There's going to be a suitcase contents page and a label a luggage page. There's a nice opening and closing page section of the book. Hey guys. Um, I just got back in from the studio, so I apologise if I look a bit bedraggled, bedraggled and um, windswept because it is windy outside, but I have just got the post from the draft printing of the colouring book and I am nervous and excited to see it. Um, it is a draft copy, so it's not going to look all pretty and beautiful, like it doesn't have the front cover and stuff, um, but it is exciting to see what it looks like and this is the copy that I am hoping to send to a publisher. Eh. Yeah, so let's see what it looks like. I'll find my phone so I can record over the top for an unboxing. Okay. of the book, yeah! <laughs> this is just printed 
started from like a document printing printer place rather than the place I usually get things made but they had an option for the square spine which makes it look like a real book and it's quite exciting can you see it from there I hope you can see it oh let's have a look inside it looks nice this book I wasn't expecting uh, to look so good as a draft copy but feels nice and I'm actually very excited to send this to the publisher and it's quite thick as well I was worried worried that it was going to be too thin um, but it is not too thin and it looks freaking sexy I am gonna probably put an over-the-top camera to show you this from above rather than just looking at my face because I'm sure my face isn't all that interesting but um thank you printers I think I think I don't even need to add any more pages I think we're good I think we're good I think we're gonna send it to a publisher I think we're gonna write a flipping email to a flipping publisher and send it tomorrow not even an email I don't even know what I'm talking about not an email um a post a snail mail send it in the mail um send it in the mail snail uh yes i am excited you can probably tell that is my tomorrow's task of sending it away to the publisher Ooh. Thanks so much for watching this vlog guys i hope you enjoyed it um before you go i wanted to show you my rentober october prompt list i shared this over on instagram i don't know if you follow me um but this is my prompt list that i'm going to be doing in october it is an every other day prompt list because i find everyday art challenges stressful as heck and i never ever finished them so i thought every other day will be nice so i'm planning on having a bit more fun with this challenge um because in previous art challenges i've mostly just stuck to digital art however with this one i am planning on making the prompts with clay for at least some of the days so i've got some air drying clay and i'm gonna make the prompts from air drying clay and i'm very excited about it also i think i'm gonna get some plasticine to do my swamp thing and i might do some painting as well just to try and free up my brain um and do some things that i don't usually do and i'd be very excited if you guys want to join me um check out the prompts they're quite fun um and then the so the first one's for the first of october if you'd like to take part just uh to have a little go and pop it over on instagram and tag me in it um yes i'm excited about that i might make well i will make a vlog about that next month um yes thank you very much for joining me and i hope the rest of your day evening morning afternoon afternoon weekend whenever it is it's nice for you okay i love you i hope you have a pleasant time that is a scrunchie throw it away i love you goodbye Hi.